We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Be better, thanks. Right as rain. Right as rain. Attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'm gonna tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festivance will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festivance? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him.
Where do you think you're going then? Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Germans want children. I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes, yes, it really does. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. If they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. does have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Oi! Well, get out of there! Him. You think you can defy authority? Right. I've had it with you. You might want to see a doctor, sir. Right. That cuts it.
course, all that about Bobby Hickenbotham. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Mm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. When the next war comes, when life for noise, ah, pop a joke. the end of our time. If you hear a good joke, please don't hesitate to drop a note mark. Humor hour at our studio, the Marlborough House, in the centre of Wellington. Well, tune in again next time for the best in English humor. We'll see you soon. with me. The Reform Club. This is where... Um, hello? Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Um... I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such, just a healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. I'm a bit sick.
Right. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? If I wanted to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Snug as a bug on a drug. Happy idiot again. in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. They said you got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you 
What? Well, why you got the caning? Yes. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slathy Crowden's face? No, I didn't. Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around for... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault, then. Oh, good. I, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I know. to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course, but I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Just uh, watching the day go by. 